God, am I ready for this? I'm ready to talk about what I'm talking about. Mm, Alright. Oh! What's going on there, Throttle Walkers? Welcome to another video of Kickstand with a Plan. Now, I know there's a lot of guys out there that are like me that just wish they could go out and just be free and go wherever and not care where they fucking ended up at. But, you can't. You got a house, you got a wife, you got kids, you got car payments, you got all this kind of stuff. Because you built a life. Now, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But it would be nice to just say screw it, go out wild hogs and you know, just have a little fun out of sight of your suburbia or wherever the hell you're living at. And just enjoy a like easy rider kind of thing, you know, the get your motor running, get out on the highway, you know, just not caring where you're going. But you really can't. So what do you do? You, you try to think of something you can go do and plan trips and stuff like that, right? Well. I have gotten this a few years ago and I want to get several more because this one is one that I would love to go hit up and I want to get more of these kind of books whenever I get done with it. This is Hogs on 66. This talks about a lot of the hot spots on 66 that goes through all the states and stuff like that that is really cool. Now this one's a little outdated but it's okay. There's some uh, new things out there that you can learn that ain't in the book but there's books like that. There's uh, going through the the Black Mountains of Mount Rushmore and uh, Sturgis kind of thing of all the hot spots of traveling of different directions for there. I mean, you got all different kinds of things, but this is something you can start planning for. You got hot spots that you can hit up and be like, oh, you know what? That'd be pretty cool. Or it, like I live in Oklahoma. I can hit all the ones that are up in uh, Missouri and uh, Texas, which is only a little bit of the, what is that? The Cadillac Graveyard through I-40. Uh, but hit, hit the surrounding states that I can uh, while, I'm, while I'm just like, you know what, I got a little bit of time, a little bit of cash in my pocket, I ain't going to spend a whole lot, I'm going to go over there. So it's kind of nice that you can plan something like that. You can actually have an idea of what to go do. Uh, I mean, it, it, it helps out in the long run to where you can make sure you still have the lifestyle that you have when you come home without breaking your budget, making sure that you ain't gonna end up in a divorce and all that kind of stuff, because it's kind of weird, but people, yeah, they end up getting divorces over them wanting to live out a dream or just go out and be themselves again. But you can also find these books at motorcycle shops, uh, bike stores, uh, bike swap meets, uh, even online, you can find them on there. There's tons of them online. But these are really cool because they're just like, you know, it's nice to go out and, uh, and it's really cool because I have a lot of uh, cooking recipes in here. Ladies, if you want to learn some uh, recipes and guys, there's some really freaking interesting barbecue stuff in here too. If you like to barbecue or anything like that. But get a book like this if you are like me that want to plan out your trips. Make sure that you can either take you, your wife, or hell, even have your family following you behind the vehicle while you just drive on your bike. So... I'm done with this rambling. I'm going to get ready and go get my bike out there uh, all cleaned up, ready to go for the bike night that's going on. I will catch y'all later. So always remember, keep those throttles locked, those tires hot, and never, ever forget to keep that rubber down. I'll catch y'all later.